Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120 month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence. So I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. Six, getting down fresh out. You know, we do it over here. You're tuned into another Prison Talk. Now, California, if you've been living under a rock, then you would know that California is out of control. They literally have created a new task force to deal with out of town crews who are flying in to go to Disneyland and Universal Studios and rob at the same time and then bounce. Um, organized groups that are outside this country, that are coming into the country um, and they are targeting uh, high end residents. Um, and we are addressing that specifically in a task force fashion through multi-agencies. Lots of these break-ins have been recorded by security cameras in recent years. Detectives tell me many tourist burglars who've been arrested often entered the U.S. through a visa waiver program. Many were visiting from Chile and other South American countries. The LAPD says there have been more than 900 residential burglaries across the city since January. Some of those committed by the tourist burglars who often target luxury homes in the foothills. And some of them may be using new technology technology to interfere with home security. Just last week, the LAPD's Wilshire station sent out this alert that Wi-Fi jammers had been used to block camera and alarm signals during some recent break-ins. Some sort of device by burglars that actually um, deaden, kill, or stop Wi-Fi from operating. The immediate fix for these home alarm systems is to hardwire them. Uh, where you where you put plug those systems directly into your Ethernet in the wall and not use your Wi-Fi internally. Choi says he's not sure if the tourist burglars have been using these devices, but the I-team has learned jammers and drones have been found by officers in Beverly Hills and other nearby cities. Last year, burglars were caught staking out homes in Orange County while wearing a camouflage suit like this, similar to ghillie suits worn by military snipers. And it's not just a California story. Police in Scottsdale, Arizona, announced today the arrests of a trio of suspected residential burglars, all in the U.S. on the visa waiver program and suspected of being part of a wide-ranging criminal organization. These are Chilean burglary crews that are coming. Or stay because there's no prosecution. You get out, you don't get um, detained, you, you have a court date, and you never show up. So, yeah, that's what's going down in California only thing that's going to snap California back into some type of uh, moral standing is going to have to be some, uh, you know, tough on crime policy. Something that shows that if you commit something that's considered violent or aggressive or you're you know, involving a hurting a victim, you're you're gonna do time. It's that there's nothing else about it. It's not funny, it's not fun, it's not entertaining, it's it's not for the likes and the, the, the videos. You know, this shit is just it's disgusting, man. And you know, there's other things constructive. Not every young person or every person out there is doing this, but dude, that's the only thing they're gonna recognize. These people being able to think that, you know, oh we go to California, it's 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 wide open. And if you actually shoot at the person robbing you, you catch the case. Man, you should be able to blow their head off. Somebody is breaking into your house, hurting your wife, hurting your kids. They deserve to be put in the dirt. Plain and simple, ain't no sympathy, man. That's like in Florida, they said, <clears throat> we prefer you to shoot the person so that we don't have to spend taxpayer money. It makes no sense to give any sympathy. And I'm telling you right now, I've done some shit. If I would have got shot, it had been what it is. I had it coming. I shouldn't have been doing something I had no business doing. So I'm telling you from an ex 
criminal perspective. You, you run up in somebody's shit, man, they got a sword, they should be able to cut your head off, cut your arm off. You should be able to get punished and there'd be no consequences to the person who was being violated. Oh, well, you, you didn't have to do all that. Well, you didn't have to try to take my watch. You didn't have to try to violate my wife or my kid. You didn't need to go in my house or mess up my car. I'm minding my business and you are obviously not able to control yourself. Therefore, you need to be dealt with accordingly, which once you get dealt with accordingly, maybe you'll think twice about doing that. Maybe you should have caught a, some more ass whoopings at home with the belt and maybe you wouldn't have been out there doing all that stupid shit. Look how stupid San Francisco is. $300 to be a good citizen. San Francisco will begin paying people not to harm and shoot others. Under a new program called the Dream Keeper Fellowship, San Francisco will be paying ex-criminals staying on the straight and narrow. It's called the Dream Keeper Fellowship, where participants of the program have the first pass and interview, then be provided with life coaches from the City Street Violence Intervention Program. San Francisco Department reported a rise in burglary, theft, and assault due to pandemic with over combined 29,889 reported crimes being reported since the beginning of the year alone. Cheryl Davis, the executive director of San Francisco Human Rights Commission, talked to San Francisco KGO TV about the new initiative. She believes the program will impact communities for the better. Look, dumbass, don't commit a crime. You get out, don't nobody owe you shit. You go, we're gonna pay you not to commit more crimes. Come on, man. If you still want to get out and rob and steal from people, man, you need to keep your ass in jail. If you can't contain yourself, if you want to mess with kids, you can't contain yourself. You need to be get castrated. You need to have your head chopped off. That's a wrap. You don't need to be paid not to do it. If you ain't got no self-control, other people walk around and they, ain't got, they have enough sense not to rob. So why should somebody pay you to not act like you have civilized sense? This shit is stupid, man. As a part of their participation, they are expected to do some conversations around public safety, to do some goal setting for themselves, also think about how they can influence and impact their communities to be better, Davis said. Even with the hope of a positive outcome, the initiative doesn't come without its own controversy. In 2016, interview about a similar yet former program in California called the Office of Neighborhood Safety, Yolanda Ficklin Pronto, who lost her son to gun violence, told the news outlet these programs give them ex-criminals money to buy more guns. No, it incentivizes them to basically extort the city. You better pay us or else. This is Gotham City, man. Oh, you don't want us to rob and loot and steal all the stores? Well, pay us. And we'll go around and act like, you know, we're going to help out the city. Look, man, if you're a, if you're a person with any type of morals and values, you would want your community to be a safe place. And if I have a store, why am I paying you to make sure my store doesn't get robbed when I'm already being taxed with my goods, with my products, I'm paying the city for a license to do business. And then I got to worry about you talking about if you're not getting your money, you're going to steal because that's what you do. Man, it's <laughs> this shit is ass backwards, man. And, and that's, the, that's the mentality of some of these people. Let's just talk to them. Look, well, if you got sense, if you're grown and you're at a certain age and you don't know what's right or wrong, then you need to be dealt with accordingly because you should get to a point where, you know what? I, I realize I, I can't blame my daddy. I can't blame my mama. You know, I have the ability to go and educate myself, to take a trade, to get up every morning at five in the morning, you know, wash my ass, you know, uh, uh, get dressed, go look for a job or to go to work or to do something positive, you know, and contribute to society. I don't have to look for somebody who seems like they're weaker than me, somebody I can victimize and take advantage of these people who are just trying to live their life and do the right thing. They're doing the right thing, but you want to do the wrong thing, but you want to get paid to not do the wrong thing to somebody doing the right thing. That shit don't make no sense, man. Young people, to all you guys sitting around talk, oh, little, little, little Bobby, little Bobby, little Bobby, please, little Bobby, stop, stop carrying them guns, stop doing this, stop doing that. Little Bobby, where your parents at, man? Where your daddy at? Your daddy locked up? Oh, your mom's, look, man, you need to come over here and do this program, this and that. 
you know, and, and you know, you know, get you some skill sets. So, oh man, I'm trying to, I ain't trying to do that, man. I'm trying. Oh, you wanna, you wanna contribute to the system, so you wanna, you wanna go out here and get and see how much you can get away with, and then go to prison and work for twenty cents an hour. I ain't doing. Yeah, little Bobby, you will be working for twenty cents an hour once you get to prison for twenty years, making some rich company uh, richer. Because your dumbass didn't want to work out here where you could have got a job and made a hundred some thousand a, a, a year and been contributing. So you're going to contribute in prison and have to squat and cough, sh open your butthole, stand up when they tell you, uh, shower with a bunch of men, look at nuts and balls and beat your meat because you're not going to have a woman up in here. And you're going to be crying to your family to send you money when they don't have the money to send you. What sense does that make? Little little Bobby's gonna have to make some choices and you're gonna have to give it to him raw. You give him an opportunity and you know, some people are gonna make it. Some people just ain't gonna make it. And for some of these neighborhoods, some of these people, man, you might as well just, they, they're just gonna have to, you, you might as well just start fresh. It's a wrap for them. Some of them, they're already done. They're done. I've seen them. I've seen some do. They get to prison. You know, I, I'm on my way out, look at some of these dudes, walking zombies. Generation of walking zombies, man. Dudes ain't got a chance in hell. But talking to somebody that already been through the system and they haven't figured it out yet, and you're going to pay them to not. What about paying them to go get it? Pay them after to for them to go work somewhere to contribute. Go work, man. You get you get up every you're, you're healthy. Get up and go get a job, and then you make real money. Why would we be paying you to not steal and abuse the neighborhood, to not rob uh, Mr. Edwards or not mug Miss uh, Miss Thomas? You, you're endorsing the fact that these guys are criminals, but they can't help themselves. Man, look, you, you need to have me on some of these programs because I tell you, man, these people are behind the scenes. They're they're goddamn idiots, man. These people sitting on these boards uh, acting like, oh, because they live in these gated communities and whatever, and they're thinking, oh, man, these people just have it. Nah, man, they're not. These people are not victims. They're predators. Some of these people are straight predators, man. And, and, and I've seen people get out and do the right thing, and I've seen some people, they just can't get it right, man, because their mind is already programmed. They, they, they lost it in prison. They lost it somewhere. Maybe they did too much fentanyl, too much meth. They smoked too much lace coke, you know, uh, uh, lace weed or snorted too much. They're gone. Some people are just gone, man. And you need places to protect other people who are law abiding citizens doing the right thing. You probably look like, oh, man, baby, you sound like you. No, I sound like somebody who wants to have a good life, man. And I don't want to be around the bullshit. So go to Big Kirk. Oh, excuse me. Go to FreshOutSeries.com. Pick you up some merch. Subscribe, share the channel, man. You know how they be doing this on YouTube and represent. I'm Big Hurt, and I have over a decade of experience in the prison system. Yeah, I've done a lot of time, made a lot of stupid mistakes, but that's why I'm here with you today, educating you on the Mastermind program by Fresh Out. See, they don't give you a manual when you go to jail on how to survive. They don't tell you how to go take a shower, where to sit at when you go to chow, what to do when you have mail call, how to handle your commissary. So we cover that and a multitude of other topics that are very important. Because if you do the wrong thing, you can get your damn wig split. We have over 100 million views as of date on our YouTube channel. But we've put and condensed all this knowledge into this mastermind program so that you can provide your client with a winning chance. Do yourself a favor and your client a favor and sign them up for our program so they don't have to get their wig split and they can make it out alive. But, smelly ball sack and a funky hoo-ha. Big Herc said, wash that ass. Pick you up a t-shirt at 
FreshHouseSeries.com. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.